In this video, we'll be taking a look at 2D mode in Risa 3D. Sometimes you just need to analyze and design a 2D structure, and the boundary condition parameters are going to be maybe a little bit too much for the conditions that you need for a simple 2D structure. So with 2D mode, you no longer need to worry about those additional parameters and them potentially making it a little bit confusing to set up your model to go ahead and solve easily. So this tool is going to be useful for, again, 2D structures such as trusses, uh, portal frames, single beams, or just any sort of structural configuration that lies within a 2D plane only. So in this video, I'm going to go ahead and show how that function will work on a truss model. So I brought in a steel truss here that we're going to take a look at. And if I just go into my XY view here, we can take a look at this in a 2D fashion. And if I attempt to solve the model here, I've already, I've already got some loads and some load combinations created. But if I go to solve the model now with 2D mode turned off, which you can see uh, with the icon there with the unlock and the uh, in the gray format there, if I go to solve the model now, we're going to receive an instability error most likely because out of plane our truss is not actually stable. So there's nothing preventing it from falling in and out of the page. So we're receiving this inadequate restraint check boundary conditions error. The model is currently unstable. So again, a really easy way to just quickly fix that is to hit this 2D mode on to turn that on. And you see the lock icon turns into a locked um, version of that icon. And the blue is now turned on to indicate that it is in fact initiated. So now when we go to solve the model, we'll find that it should solve just fine for us. Perfect, so now we see immediately afterward we have our node reaction spreadsheet up here, which is gonna to indicate to us that we had a successful solve. Um, the model was stable, obviously, so now what we can do is take a look at uh, maybe the deflected shape just to confirm that the model is doing what we would expect. Perfect, and we can also go over into an isometric view to make sure that it's not falling in and out of the page there. So what you'll see now is that uh, these nodes here have a restraint added to them to prevent them from translating in that Z direction. So that's actually what the 2D mode uh, button there is doing for us, uh, basically behind the scenes and just making that a really quick one click uh, function there. So if we actually go into the boundary conditions spreadsheet, we can see more specifically what the program is doing here. So if I go into the boundary conditions spreadsheet, Previously, I only had node one and node nine, which are my end supports, this pin and this roller that I had added. I'd only had those in my spreadsheet. Now what we have is this all command in the node label column. And then we have the fixed being applied for translation in the Z direction. So that's exactly what the 2D mode function does for you is it's gonna add this all command at the end of your boundary condition list and provide that restraint for translation in the Z direction. Again, looking at our global axes here in the upper left-hand corner. Again, just preventing that structure from falling out of plane. So this is a quick look at 2D mode in Risa 3D. Thank you for watching. For more information on Risa 3D version 18, please visit risa.com.